What is up you guys? So we finally got to the location where, where uh, I was telling you guys we're going. I'm looking around already. He's got some crazy cars. <laughs> I'm excited to show you guys today's video. It's gonna be some crazy ass content. Cody is uh is who we are with today. Um, you guys met Cody in the previous vlog. Um, he has the cars that he showed you that day are already crazy. So uh, today we're gonna show you his full collection, which is gonna be super sick. We're all the way out in San Francisco, California, which is a bit of a drive for me, but anything for the content, anything for you guys. So let's show you guys around and Let's do, let's, let's make, get this vlog going. So, with that being said, let's introduce Cody once again. If you guys are new to the channel, so you guys haven't watched the previous, chat, previous vlog, Show you who Cody is and uh, follow me. Let's do this. Yo, Cody, let's introduce you to the vlog. I was telling them that they haven't watched the previous one. You know, you're, you're the one with the crazy ass collection when I talk while they're me. Oh, this is my E30. This is a, it's a H26. It's a Hargy. So, so uh, this is Cody. Uh, we're going to show you his cars today. Give uh, a signature. Or is it like that? Oh, yeah. Like, you guys know yeah, that, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, let's walk around. And uh, so you can tell us which ones are your favorite cars and which ones you really enjoy driving. Oh yeah. So we well, already know the favorite. Which is your favorite? Oh yeah, his favorite is E30 M3. E30 M3. The little chair. So this is a 1988, is it, Cody? Or it's a 90. 90. So it's a 1990 uh, E30 M3, and he takes really good care of it. And you got it really clean too, huh? Came all like this. It came all like this, except with the wheels too. With the wheels, it has the ground control, suspension. Man. Uh, I mean, it's so clean, dude. I mean, I've seen a lot of E30 M3s over time, but if you really want to go detailed, like really taking care of E30s, like this thing, uh, everything is like mint condition. It looks so nice. The, I mean, like, I'm gonna show you something that you never see on on older cars, which is like crazy. Is if you go get the valve cover on that side, the valve cover. Oh, is it, is it mint? So it has the Cosmoline on the cover still from the factory, which they spray. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When it comes from the factory, which is like a sealant that you don't see that. Yeah, yeah, it's because it, that means like Usually, you have. It hasn't been tampered with, you know. Oh, it's so nice. Look, it has all the. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's crazy. The the under of the, the hood is changes on the E30 M3s. I didn't know that. It's crazy. All the little details that matter the most. Did you put the racing dynamics or did you came with this one too? No, so he did all this stuff, so it came like that. So that was kind of the appeal to it too, because I was like, cool, I don't have to do anything. So it has yeah. the good the ground control on it. And yeah, he's really looking at that, yeah, ground control. It's the fully adjustable, it's got the sway. It's pretty stiff, huh? It's stiff, dude. It's got the cool wheels. So I out of, I think out of all all of Cody's cars, this is probably his slowest car, is that right? It's definitely my slowest car. It's my slowest car. It's definitely the slowest. We haven't, we haven't even got into the crazier cars that Cody has. Yeah. So, 
Um, this what I don't know. But what do the E30 M3 says it makes? It makes what like two. 190, 190 yeah, like 200 horsepower. Like so today you guys are gonna see from 190 horsepower to only to a thousand horsepower. So just keep that in mind. So, <laughs> man, but, and, and we don't have the gimbal though. Yeah, that's, that's like so y'all. Right so so keep in mind this also this only half his collection I would say he still has th four what's four more cars? Yeah, like four like three to four more cars that are not here right now, which will you guys will see later in time. But he has a, just so you guys can say, he's got a Porsche Kambala, which is gonna make like over a thousand horsepower. It's gonna have like, a, it's gonna make 13 wheels. 1300 horsepower wheel, that, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> then I'm building an E30 with the LSX 454 right now. That That's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy too, so you wait wait for uh, yeah. wait for that block. Yeah, that block's gonna be sick. I'm gonna yeah. do an update for that one on the on the 454 E30, especially with, he's, he was telling me, I didn't even know, he's gonna do full tube chassis. E30. Two chassis, full sequential shifting with the LTO kit, all that shit. We're just the, gonna the, the sequential shifting. Gonna sequential. Be sick. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. First time this M3 so far. We're down the street. Just a little bit of gas, and this car for being a four-cylinder with ITVs, it, it pulls. It's it's definitely not S54 pull, blah, but this thing. Is uh, it, it drives nice. I did not know, you know, you, I already showed you guys this car, but I did not know this car had 77,000 miles on it, which I am shocked. I don't know, it's up with Cody buying low mileage cars, but wow, man, this car, it's it's uh, definitely, I don't understand why people like E30 M3s because the little drive, especially those high RPMs. It's a nice car, I like it a lot. Wow, yeah. I think. Might be time, guys. Might be time. I think, I think a lot of people tell me all the time, Eli, you should have bought an E30 M3 a long time ago. You know, I really should have. But I've been so focused on other stuff, like buying, building myself an E30. You know, E30, there's only so much you can do on an E30 M3. But let's see the horn works. Woo! The horn works too. Damn. That's how you know the E30 is original. Let's go a little pull. Ready? Let's go down a second. You guys saw the E30 M3. Now let's show you. I would. I mean, I consider this a supercar. Let's show you one of uh, Cody's supercar. So Cody, tell him what is this exactly? It's a 2018 AMG GTR. How long have you had this car? About a month. About a month. And he's already gonna sell it. I'm selling it. I'm gonna sell it. He he says that he gets bored of cars quickly, so I probably make 10 G's on this car. <laughs> so. How's it gonna think? It's cool. Little miles. It had one owner before me. I got it. I paid cash. Made a good deal on it. During the coronavirus epidemic, so those corona deals, guys. I'm trying to get rid of shit, yeah. you know. You got to capitalize on. I that. bought BB. I bought some BBSs. Um, was it a couple weeks ago for 800 bucks? Full set of BBS, yeah. refinish everything. People uh -huh. need money. They need money. Yeah. So I mean, you know, if you guys need money out there, I totally understand, you know. But this is also a time for people that have been having some money sitting sitting down to definitely take advantage of the situation and buy stuff if they can. Um, hopefully, whoever's watching this is working. Wishing you guys the best, but um, yeah, this thing is still got like all the carbon stuff. The carbon roof is super sick. It's one of my favorite things. I think carbon roof, carbon mirrors. I actually never seen the carbon trunk on this one. This is a GTR model, so this is like a limited production. So this one has like it, it makes more power than the GTC and the GTS, and then with the suspension, the way it handles. They say this is a, this this car is the more similar as the Ass Advantage, you know. Have you heard that? I, I don't it's know. A, it's a twin turbo. Well, it has the same motor. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Since the twin turbo, the Aston Martin is a twin turbo, and this is a twin turbo V8. Also, it's like they say, like I don't know if Mercedes copied it. Aston or Aston copied Mercedes, but uh, so surprisingly, on certain tracks, this car is 500 pounds heavier, give or take, than a GT3 RS. And it actually does a little bit faster, faster, no or like right, like I think very similar. The same. Yeah, oh, very shit, similar man. lap time. Crazy. Because it makes up on And a GTR is a fast ass car, They're so crazy, that's crazy. Dude. They're crazy. Let's look at the interior of this car. Full carbon, everything carbon, huh? Yeah. Bit of carbon, all the nice stitching. Look at the stitching on this one, that's really nice. Seats. I think I got the Maroni in here too. The Come bucket on. seats are sick. It's like a, this is kind of like, I would consider this a bucket seat. This is nice. Yeah, it is. Okay. You want to get a shot of the actual... Oh, he got, he got, he got the, the sticker in here. That's how you know when they really take yeah, care of it. Yeah, yeah. Let me see it. 
he got his he got his full loaded. sticker on here. How, how much did, you, did they pay for this originally? Somebody paid one ninety for this car. Ninety. How much did you pay, Cody? Hey, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> not 190, right? <laughs> not 190. Not 190. Let's just say it's probably almost half of it. <laughs> Let's just say. But yeah, this thing is nice. I actually drove drove on a I drove a GTS, which is supposed to be I think similar, but not exactly the same as this car. And that thing was fast as hell. So yeah. So hopefully Cody lets us take this one out and we see what what this thing can do. Oh yeah. So yeah, this thing the way it just pulls through the gears is really remarkable. Oh, the back end looks really nice. The rear too. is dope with the. Oh, the, damn, the I didn't see that. Check out that. It has the, a tri exhaust. Yeah, look at the exhaust. That, that wow. That Please looks really excuse good. the CNC Motorsport plate. That's yeah, not let's not talk about then. Yeah. Damn, this is. Look, look at that. I've never seen that before. I, did, I actually. I thought the exhaust. Wait. So it's triple, one, two, and then three. Oh, well, I thought the exhaust. Yeah. I thought you were talking about this. Oh, this shoot. This exhaust is there, there, and then right here is the center. That's so crazy. it actually is a, a, a tri exhaust. That's really nice. It's pretty dope. Definitely, like the details, everything. I think this car is all so about the details. This one too is actually has a wider stance than the GTC and the GTS, so the actual the body is flared out more. Oh, really? So you got the the side intakes, and then um, on the the quarter panels in the front. This car reminds me of like bit. a like a knockoff version of the GT3. Like like G like Mercedes was trying to be like GT3 RS with yeah. like, the, like the scoops. They're coming like, at it, yeah. Red. They're coming at it. They're trying to keep. I mean that's them. why that's why it's about almost the same timing as a as a GT3 RS at a, on the racetrack I think because since all all the aerodynamics is almost the same as a GT3 RS. Yeah, they they didn't get there. They tried, but and keep in mind Cody had a GT3 RS a couple of weeks ago, so that's how he he really knows. I drove them both, so I know, and I, I you know. I what went would you the prefer gears. though? What would you the GT3 RS or this car? If you're able to just rip on both of them. It's hard to say, right? Because there's different functionalities. Like this car being a V8 twin turbo, the way it makes power is different. It makes power down low on the power band. So the GT3 RS, high end, huh? It's really up top, so you got to really get through it to really feel the power. So like on the street, this one's funner because you can get in it and get and yeah. it's fast, right? If you're in the GT3 RS around here, it's it, it's not that fun because you got to downshift and be really high up in the power band, and then it's kind of like it's fun once you're up there, but it's really for the track. So that being said, I I love the GT3 RS. So he's trying to say GT3 every... RS kills it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's hot speed shit. Yeah, bro, can you say something, I, please? I the vlog is running. Oh, the vlog is. Uh, Bob is like the vlog is uh. running. I'm speechless. This car is dope. Put it in race mode. Woo! You guys ready? So guys, this is an AMG GTR. Similar motor as Aston Vantage, but I definitely feel like this car is way faster. Let's see the test. Driver driving this car, we good, we set. What car is better and why? I, I think you made your mind. <laughs> this it, no, okay, so you gotta remember this. This is two different feels. E30 M3 is a driver's car, like that car is like very nice, like cruise car, everything. This is like a fast car. Like, I mean, people don't say the people say the Mercedes is not a supercar, but the GTR is a supercar. This car is fast as hell. Um, but like two different feels. I mean, I love E30 M3. I can never. If I would choose this car, the E30 M3, I would choose the E30 M3. Like, just I'm just a I'm a I'm a driver's person. I mean, electronics. You can get electronics all day. My truck had electronics, but driver's car you don't get always. This, but this is fast. We haven't even got to the best part, which uh, Cody has up here. Damn. You guys already saw his car, but just and marry this car is insane because Cody has really gone through a lot of time, you know, getting this thing the way it is. So, yeah, let's show you that. 